Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Curse of Oak Island discovers coin from as early as 300 BC. On the Curse of Oak Island this week, the team found a coin that might date as early as 300 BC. This would make it one of the oldest finds on the island for the Hit History Channel reality TV series. Here is a look at what they found and what the team believes it could mean. Ancient coin found on the Curse of Oak Island. One of the most interesting finds on the Curse of Oak Island this week came in the form of a coin. This was something that Gary Drayton found thanks to his miracle metal detector. It was something he found at Lot 5 which is a new area for the Lagina brothers to explore on the island. This week, Alex Lagina and Jack Begley brought in a coin expert and numismatist named Sandy Campbell to look at the coin. He arrived at the Interpretative Center and took a look at it before delivering some shocking and exciting news to the team. Based on the chemical composition, Campbell said that it came from ancient Rome. This means it is either Roman or Byzantine in nature. Furthermore, it is possibly as old as 300 BC. Sandy said the date range was wide, but went from about 300 BC all the way to around 600 AD. Even in that range of 900 years, it is one of the older trinkets the team has found. Also, based on that range, it is likely Roman and not Byzantium. What could the coin mean for the curse of Oak Island? Rick Lagina was very excited about the possibilities of this coin being on Oak Island. After Sandy made sure to confirm it is almost definitely Roman, Rick set out to figure out what it was doing on the island. Sandy had no clue, but it leads to a lot more fun theorizing for the crew and fans of the Curse of Oak Island. The very good dot to dot YouTuber breaks down the mysteries that present themselves on Curse of Oak Island. He also came up with some news about what the coin actually is. Additionally, he was searching around and found some information from the Quest of Oak Island Facebook page. A person on that page identified the coin as one from 337 to 355 AD, which really narrows things down. This means the coin comes from the time of Constantius Eu. The video also shows the actual coin and it matches up really close with the one found on the Curse of Oak Island. There were tens of millions of these coins minted at the time. This reveals at least where the coin came from. Of course, the mystery is still how the coin arrived on Oak Island. That is because there isn't much historical data of anyone going to North America during this time period. However, that is what makes the show fun coming up with theories on how the treasure ended up on the island. The Curse of Oak Island, a History Channel series that has captivated audiences for years, recently made an astonishing discovery that could potentially rewrite history. Nestled deep within the mysterious, treasure-laden soils of Oak Island, Nova Scotia, a coin dating back to as early as 300 BC was unearthed. This find has sparked a flurry of excitement and speculation, as it could provide crucial clues to the island's long-standing enigma. The discovery unfolded in a typical episode filled with suspense and the promise of new revelations. The Legend of Brothers, Rick and Marty, who have dedicated their lives and substantial fortunes to uncovering the secrets of Oak Island, were leading an excavation in a previously unexplored section of the island. Their diligent efforts and unwavering determination were finally rewarded when they stumbled upon this ancient coin. The coin itself, though small and weathered by centuries underground, holds immense historical significance. Preliminary analysis by numismatic experts suggests that it could be of Greek origin, potentially linking Oak Island to ancient seafaring civilizations. The implications of such a find are staggering. It raises questions about the extent of ancient exploration and trade routes, challenging our understanding of pre-Columbian transoceanic contact. As the coin was carefully extracted from its resting place, the Lagina brothers, 
along with their team of archaeologists and historians, could hardly contain their excitement. This was not just another piece of the puzzle. It was a potential game changer. For decades, theories about who buried treasure on Oak Island and why have ranged from pirate hordes to Knights Templar relics, but this coin introduces the tantalizing possibility of an even older and more mysterious narrative. Dr. Eloise Parker, an expert in ancient Mediterranean civilizations, was brought in to examine the coin. Her preliminary findings suggest it could be a teacher dracum, a type of silver coin used widely in ancient Greece. The coin's imagery and inscriptions, though born, appear to depict the owl and olive branch commonly associated with Athena, the goddess of wisdom. This connection to Athena adds another layer of intrigue, suggesting that those who left the coin might have had a profound purpose or belief guiding their actions. The island itself has long been shrouded in legend. Stories of buried treasure date back to the late 1700s when the first recorded excavation attempt was made. Since then, Oak Island has been a magnet for treasure hunters and adventurers, each drawn by the promise of uncovering untold riches. The infamous money pit, booby-trapped tunnels, and mysterious inscriptions have all contributed to the island's lore. Yet, despite numerous excavations, the island has stubbornly held onto its secrets. Until now. This coin, with its origins tracing back over two millennia, might be the breakthrough needed to unravel these secrets. It suggests a timeline far older than any previously considered. If ancient Greeks or their contemporaries reached the shores of Nova Scotia, the historical implications are profound. It would indicate that transatlantic voyages occurred long before the Vikings and Columbus, reshaping our understanding of ancient world connectivity. As news of the discovery spread, it ignited a wave of renewed interest and speculation. Scholars and enthusiasts alike pondered the possible scenarios that could have led to a Greek coin being buried on a small island off the coast of Canada. Some theorized it could have been part of a treasure hoard collected by a more recent civilization, perhaps during the age of piracy and subsequently buried. Others speculate that it might be evidence of ancient explorers who ventured far beyond the boundaries of the known world. For Rick and Marty Lagina, the coin represents both a triumph and a challenge. While it is a significant find, it also raises countless questions. What else might lie beneath Oak Island's surface, waiting to be discovered? Could this coin be part of a larger cache, or is it a solitary artifact brought over by chance? The Lagina brothers are more determined than ever to continue their quest, driven by the tantalizing prospect of uncovering further clues to the island's ancient past. The curse of Oak Island has always been about more than just treasure. It's a quest for knowledge, for understanding the past, and for solving one of history's greatest mysteries. This latest discovery, a coin from as early as 300 BC, is a beacon of hope. It suggests that the answers they seek might finally be within reach, buried in the depths of Oak Island, waiting to be brought to light. As the team gears up for another season of exploration, armed with this remarkable find, viewers around the world watch with bated breath. Each dig, each discovery brings them one step closer to unraveling the enigma that has haunted Oak Island for centuries.